Prior to what we have now, specimens would get left out at room temperature for quite some time, that even with the type of track that we had before, there was no refrigeration storage on it. And it had to rely on people getting these huge racks and trays and putting them into our walk-in refrigerator. And many times that would be hours later. So whatever the test you know, might be on that particular specimen, the specimen quality was not quite what it is now. No matter what we did, lean-wise, we could not improve the turnaround times to what we needed to meet our customers' expectations. So we decided we needed to automate pre-analytical. We wanted something that was going to streamline all of our sample tracking, making sure that when we start somewhere, it's going to end and we're going to be able to find our specimens. We were dealing with a lot of problems with the analyzers themselves. Since the implementation of the Power Express, our process has changed dramatically. When the samples come through the pneumatic tube system, the processors load them uncentrifuged right onto the track. The track then takes care of receiving it into the computer system, centrifuging the sample, decapping, and then sorting it to the appropriate instrumentation for testing. Once testing is totally complete, it is put in refrigerated storage and the person at the command central may release the result or they're auto-verified automatically without any intervention from command central. Reducing the number of manual steps and increasing reliable automation, uh, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind, I think, as an analyst to have the time to do other things. Uh, now, all of that time is devoted to helping in some of the other departments, checking up on the QC, doing maintenance on the instrumentation. We're able to focus more on um, reagent upkeep, analyzer upkeep, uh, PM maintenance, uh, and stuff like that as far as um, freeing up more time. Since the implementation of this track, we have reallocated our FTAs to do other tasks that we were unable to do. It used to take five to run chemistry, now it takes three. It's made it a lot easier um, as a technician to focus on specimen tracking and finding out where a specimen is if we need to rerun it or if it needs to be diluted. What we are noticing with the Beckman system is that the test results are much more reliable. Uh, and the accuracy is much better than the type of equipment that we had prior to the Beckman. Prior to implementation, we were on the average of a basic metabolic panel took 89 minutes. Once we implemented this track, we did some studies and we found now it only takes 24 minutes. The throughput is, is much quicker. That's due to both uh, the DXI and the especially the AUs. Yeah, the AUs are doing an excellent job keeping up at the volume. At first I was a little skeptical about uh, the racks being brought in and that might actually clog the system up a little bit, but actually it's, it's more convenient. I mean, the samples are getting sampled faster, they're getting run faster, and we're seeing the turnaround times coming through faster. So as far as turnaround times, we're able to run a lot more tests in a smaller period of time. When there is human intervention, there are delays, there are uh, steps that this particular time may take two minutes, the next time it may take five or ten minutes. Those types of difficult decisions and human slips just don't exist when you remove as many steps from the process as we've been able to do with the track and the analyzers attached to the track. Yeah, the quality of the results is by far much better, uh, not just because of Remisol and because of the, uh, the track system and the consistency, but also the type of equipment that we have.